When building a brand online, it's important to leverage social media in order to reach your audience. However, it can be time consuming creating content and then manually distributing this content across all your different social media channels. This is where a social media management software like Zoho Social comes in. This will ultimately allow you to streamline your social media marketing activities. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now today, I'm excited to share this Zoho Social tutorial for beginners and help you save time and money by leveraging this extensive and free social media management software. Okay, so before we launch into Zoho Social, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and streamline your social media marketing activities. <music> Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is head over to our browser and type in zoho.com forward slash social and that's going to take you here or feel free to click our link in the description below this video and that's going to take you to this web page. Now it's important to note that this link is an affiliate link which means we will get a small commission if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan in the future with no extra charge to you and this just helps support our channel so thank you in advance if you decide to use our affiliate link however today what we're going to do is cover the completely free plan which is sufficient enough for small businesses now if it's your first time being introduced to Zoho basically Zoho is an all-in-one business suite that gives you access to dozens and dozens of powerful tools to help your business grow online and Zoho social is just one of many dynamic products that Zoho offers if you're interested in learning more about other Zoho products and applications, then what I'll do is link other video resources down in our description below if you want to check out more Zoho tutorials like this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started for free. What we're going to do is keep for business selected, then simply go ahead and add your company name, email address and password, or simply come down here and sign up or sign in if you already have a Zoho account with Google, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. We like to access all our business tools from one place, so we're gonna go ahead and sign up with Google. If you decided to sign up with Google, go ahead and select your Google account. And simply click Try Zoho Social Now. It's important to note that Zoho Social's forever free plan, which we're gonna to cover today, allows up to one team member to access the account and only one brand, which basically means one business that you can then publish across seven channels. However, the free plan also allows you to access the Z Share browser extension. And this basically allows you to simply share content that you find on the internet directly to your connected channels within Zoho Social. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, the free plan is more than sufficient enough for small businesses. However, if you're an agency and you manage multiple brands, then you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, so if it's your first time using Zoho Social, you'll arrive here. Now what you wanna do is select the best option that represents your objective using Zoho Social. We're gonna go ahead and select Publishing Scheduling. Then come down and add your company size. And then add your contact number. Then come down and click take me in. And because we're using a fresh account for the purpose of today's tutorial, we currently have no social media channels connected with our account. So what you can do here is take the time to connect your social media channels that are associated with your brand. However, you can also do this inside your account. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and quickly connect my Facebook account so that I have a Facebook business page connected with my Zoho social account. 
It's a very simple and straightforward process to connect any of your social media accounts with your Zoho social account. Basically, Zoho Social will guide you through the process to connecting each of your accounts. So go ahead and take the time to connect your social media channels now. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and connected my Facebook business page to Zoho Social. Now what I'm going to do is navigate over to Instagram and simply connect my Instagram business account. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to do that. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and connected both my Facebook business page and my Instagram business account. Now what I'm going to do is come down and click connect later because I can connect additional social media channels later on within my dashboard. And this is where you can invite other team members to help manage your brand and your social media channels. However, with the free plan, you only have access to one team member. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click skip for now. And as you can see, that will take us to our Zoho social account. If we navigate up to the top left hand corner, you can see that we have the home dashboard selected. And down here, you can see your brand health. So at the moment, we have two channels connected, our Facebook business page here and our Instagram business account. You can see basic information like total followers, new followers, number of posts, the reach of our posts and engagements over the last 30 days. Now, if you're ready to connect any other social media channels to your brand, simply navigate down here and go ahead and connect the social media channel that you want to connect with your account. Again, Zoho Social guides you through the process and it only takes a few moments to connect your accounts. Then if we navigate up to the top left hand corner and click on our brand name, so ours is Cindio. If we come down here, we have the option to add an additional brand. But remember with the free plan, we only have access to manage one brand. Then if we navigate down to recent posts on our home dashboard, you can see your recent posts and then basic information like likes, comments, people reached, link clicks and engagement. And because we only have our Facebook business page and our Instagram business account connected, you can only see these two recent posts from these two channels. Now, if we navigate up to the top right hand corner, you can see that we're on the premium trial. Now, after 15 days of signing up to Zoho Social, you'll be automatically downgraded to the forever free plan. However, in those 15 days, you can trial premium plans. You can also navigate up to your profile in the top right hand corner and click here and then simply navigate down to try other additions. If you want to try other different paid plans that Zoho Social has to offer. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. Now, once you have successfully connected all your social media channels with your one brand and remember with the free plan, you can publish on up to seven channels then you might be ready to now create a post. So to create a post across your different channels that you've connected, simply navigate up to new post, or you can click this drop down and click on bulk schedule. What we're going to do is click new post. And over on the left hand side, this is where we can go ahead and compose our new post that we want to share across all our different social media channels. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new post. And I can come down and add images or videos. So what I'm going to do is attach two photos by simply uploading those photos from my desktop. We can also choose from our media library, cloud picker and design on Canva. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, basically Canva is a free design tool that allows anyone from beginners to experts to create content within minutes using templates and a simple drag and drop design experience. If you want to learn more about Canva, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below that will help you get started with Canva to design and create your own social media posts so that you can distribute those across your different channels. However, what I'm going to do is click desktop and I'm going to upload these two images here and then click attach. Now I can also navigate across next to attachments and under my images, I can go ahead and click Instagram first comment. If I click here, this allows me to add the first comment to my Instagram post. This is if you want to kickstart the engagement on your Instagram post or if you just want to add the first comment. 
Then next to that, we can go ahead and insert emojis into our post and we can also add alt text. Okay, so if we exit out of this, now if we navigate up to our connected social media channels, we can simply click on each of these channels that we do not want to post to. So for example, if we wanted to deselect our Instagram profile, what we would do is click here and you can see if I decided to publish this post, it would only publish on our Facebook business page. However, I want this post to be published across both our Facebook business page and our Instagram business profile. So I'm going to select my Instagram business profile and depending on the channel that you want to post to, there might be some limitations for your post. So for example, down here you can see that posts for Instagram business profile can only include a single image. So that means we have to select one of these images that we want to use in our post. Then if we navigate up to publishing options, we have the option to publish this post now. We can come down and select schedule for a specific date. So for example, let's say I want to publish this post tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and choose Wednesday the 23rd and then I can add a time. I'm going to go ahead and add 9 a.m. by selecting 9 and then over here and then a.m. You can also come down and repeat this post if you like and then we also have the option to add our post to queue. This basically allows us to manage overlapping so that we can avoid overlapping our content. Then below that we have the option to choose a smart queue slot. Basically, this gives Zoho Social the control of when to post your content based on the best time that your audience is engaged. Then you can come down and save your post as a draft or you can schedule your content or publish if you want to publish your content now. So what I want to do is go ahead and schedule my post on my Facebook business page and my Instagram business profile for tomorrow at 9 a.m. So to do that, I'm going to come down and click schedule. And as you can see, all set, your post has been scheduled. Now, if we navigate over to posts next to home, and this is where we can view and manage all our posts. So at the moment, you can see that we have our Facebook business page selected. We can see when a post is published, the posted content, and then we have interaction and published by. Again, we can navigate up to the top and select our Instagram business profile that we've connected. And we can see basic information about this connected channel. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side and come down and select scheduled posts, this is where we can see all our scheduled posts. We can also select our different connected social media channels to view the scheduled posts for each of these channels. We can also navigate over to approvals, unpublished posts, drafts to view our saved post drafts and then we have calendar if we click on calendar this generates a social media marketing calendar and we can see a calendar view of all our content that we've scheduled now if we navigate back up to the top and next to posts we have messages again this is where you can manage all your messages across all the different channels that you've connected with your zoho social account so remember, Zoho Social is a powerful free all-in-one social media management software that will essentially save you time and money by streamlining your social media marketing activities through this one platform. So that is everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial helping you get started with Zoho Social. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Soho Social Tutorial for Beginners. Now if you have any questions about streamlining your social media marketing activities through a management software like Zoho Social, make sure to pop those questions down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.